with one of Marathon Press's designer websites. The first thing you'll need to do is log into your account. Okay. The next thing that we will be doing is we will need to activate the theme. By default, it comes with Oregano and activated. So what I'll show you how to do is go into themes and notice that when you do purchase a you build it website, it comes with all the themes that Marathon Press currently offers. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Basil because that's the website I want to build. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click on Customize. And I'll adjust the site title. I can set a background color, which I'm not going to do here. I can also set a background image. We will select our main navigation. And our static page will be front page, it'll be our home page. We'll save and we'll publish. We'll close. So here's the website that we're currently building. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and change these link colors and the menu option colors to admin. We'll go to theme options. Within here, I will adjust to the specific color that I want. Once you're finished selecting your color options, go ahead and click Save. So here's the changes that I made. I'm going to make a few more adjustments on the color here. Okay. Also notice you have slideshow speed settings for your home page and you also have gallery slideshow settings. Click save and let's take a look and see what it looks like now.
for our drop down menu color. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is since we don't have a home page slideshow, go ahead and add one of those. We'll go to pages. Click on home and edit. And click on add media. And select create gallery. And I've already uploaded images into my media gallery. So you can simply click on these. don't want one, you can just click on the minus, click create a new gallery, and you can click drag and drop these images for the sort order, click on insert gallery, once that's finished click on update, and go back to your page so the next thing I'll do is create a gallery page go back to your admin area click on pages and click add new at the top I'm going to call this page Gallery. Actually, Wedding Gallery. And I'll click on Add Media. And I will create a gallery. Select the images that you want to use. Click on Create Gallery, drag and drop to rearrange the order, click on Insert Gallery, and Publish. You'll notice when you go back to your home page, to your website, that the Wedding Gallery isn't listed in your menu items. So what you'll need to do is go back into your admin area, go down to appearance, and go to menus, and here is the current menu that is configured on your website. So to add wedding galleries, you come down to pages, most recent, and click on wedding gallery add the menu and it appears right in here click on save menu we'll go back to the to our website refresh and now wedding gallery is here on our menu and that's not the view that I want so we'll go back into the admin area go to pages go to wedding gallery click edit and under page attributes under template there's a gallery template that you can select we'll click update Okay, it's finished updating. We'll go back to the page, refresh the page, and now our gallery, our wedding gallery, is showing up.
So the next thing I'd like to do is I would like to add my company name at the bottom in the footer area and I would like to add my Facebook icon at the bottom as well. So we will go back to edit page to our, in our admin area, go to appearance, widgets, and here is the footer area that I will be modifying. Save and click the close button. And for social networks, I will add my Facebook. Scroll down, hit save. close. We'll go back to our website and we will refresh the page. As you can see my Facebook icon is now down here and Marathon Photography is here but I need to adjust the color. So we'll go back into the admin area, go back to theme options, I will adjust the footer text color and I'll set it to an off white. Click save and refresh. And marathon photography is now in the footer area. Keep in mind this accepts HTML as well as plain text. So if you wanted an H1 header text, you can certainly have that. And that assigns it a different color that matches your CSS. And speaking of CSS, if you're familiar with cascading style sheets, you have the ability to input your own custom code right within here. The next thing I would like to show you is I would really like to change my background. This purple really isn't the color that will go with this site. So I'll go back into my admin, click on background, and you can either upload your image that you would like to use or you can click choose image. And I have this diamond background pattern selected. Check mark it and set as background. Now it's set, and depending on which background pattern you're selecting, you will need to adjust the position, the repeat, and the attachment. Click Save, Changes. Go back to your website, refresh. That made a very huge difference, and it looks very nice now. I want to add another page. So we'll go back into the admin area. Go to pages. We'll add a new page. We'll call it All About Us.
typically where you would put your contact information, what type of photography you do, etc. Be sure to select your template and set a featured image. Check mark your featured image and set featured image. And also, Marathon provides a basic SEO tool so you can set your title and your meta description for optimal search engine optimization. Click publish. We will need to go to the appearance and the menus to add that page to our menu items. Go down to pages, check mark all about us, add to menu, save menu, let's go back to our website and take a look and see what it looks like. So there's our All About Us. And my featured image isn't showing up and the background color isn't very pretty. So we'll go back into the admin area. We'll go to Pages. And we'll go to All About Us. I'm going to change my page template to the default template and click on update. Go back to my website and refresh the page. Okay, my featured image is now showing up. The yellow background still doesn't look very nice. So we'll go back into edit page and that can be adjusted under appearance and then theme options. So here's the content background. I'm going to change that to a white. So save. We'll go back to my website and refresh. So then now that information, the content background looks much nicer. The other thing that I would like to edit is my contact page. For customers that do come along and they want to order or set up a time to meet, you have complete access and control over what is shown in within here. Pages. And here is your contact page. So the first thing we'll do is we will adjust the featured image. So we will remove the under construction and click set image. We will select the boy holding the teddy bear and set featured image. And also with the short code, this will be within your contact page by default, where you will actually edit the contact form is within this contact area right here. Before I do that, click on update. And this will update our current contact page. So let's go back to our website, refresh. Now our featured image has been set. But I still want to put in full name here and contact email. So we'll go back into the admin area. Click on contact. And here's our contact form that we need to edit. 
So here we go. Um, I'll go ahead and put in full. I will put in company email. All this information down here can be set to your liking. You'll put in your own email address here. And all of this information has been pre-configured by Marathon. So you typically won't have to make any changes to that. Once you're finished, click Save. Say contact form save. Go back to your website. Refresh your page. And notice that now it says your full name and your company email. This con concludes the tutorial of the U Build It designer sites.